12 in Suffolk. The 45-year-old victim stopped to help at what appeared to be the scene of an accident at Rackham's Corner near Corton on Tuesday morning. Matthew Goddard, who's 22, was last night charged with a number of offences, including robbery and theft. The hot weather has been causing problems for some of our hospitals and emergency services. The RNLI is warning against the dangers of so-called tombstoning after 20 people were seen jumping into the sea near South End. This is tombstoning. Jumping into the sea from a height. 20 people were seen here last night at Bell Wharf at Leon Sea doing just that in the hot weather. No one was hurt, but they were moved on by police for their own safety. Well, everything's got a risk, hasn't it? I think the most important thing is if anybody's going to jump in the water is to see, make sure what they're jumping on and there's enough water to jump into so they're not going to hit the mud. While the RNLI and police have been trying to stop people from ending up in hospital, Ipswich Hospital has been asking visitors to stay away in the day if they can. It says extra people create more heat for patients. For every ward which contains um, 27, 28 patients, you could have two visitors for each person. And that means potentially another 50 people coming into an area, which is reasonably s small area, and therefore the activity is going to help increase the temperature even further and make it more uncomfortable. With so many people taking skin care advice by piling on the sun cream, Jesus Green Lido in Cambridge had to close yesterday. The water became so murky with the cream and falling leaves. It was back in working order today. Our procedure is that if we can't see the bottom of the pool, we have to close, do health and safety and public safety. Um, but like I say, we, we dealt with the situation um, and obviously got, got the clarity a lot better than what it was. The advice is to swim safely in pools, not risk your life by doing stunts into the sea. Debbie Tubby, Beebs of the